I'd like to then move on to Dr. Popak, who's going to be making a statement on behalf of the Africa Export Import Bank. Um, and he's the chief economist at the bank. Over to you, Dr. Popak. I would like to uh, join my colleague in really uh, thanking Professor Smita, Oprah, and Bora for really organizing such an important event. And on behalf of President Orama, to really uh, thank the organizer for associating the African Export Import Bank. And as a trade finance bank for Africa, motivated by transformation of African economy to optimally improve improve Africa external positions to trade, we are indeed not only very mindful of the tremendous potential of agriculture, but also not just in terms of food security, but also in terms of balance of payments and macroeconomic management. Last year, as we know, the continent which is home to more than 60% of the remaining Arab land spent more than $90 billion on food import, which is significant. This represents huge leakages to the balance of payments, which over time are sustained the rise of external liabilities and the risk of debt overhang. But with the African population on a rising trend, irreversible rising trend, reliance on import of, is not sustainable, and it's not a sustainable answer, especially considering the potential implication of such a model for debt overhang and national security. Several factors has planned the challenge posed by the low productivity in the agricultural sector and excessive reliances on food as an alternative to low productivity in the ag sector. But none in our view is as important and critical as the deficit of agricultural engineering expertise and training within the continent. I repeat, none in our view is as important and critical as the deficit of agricultural engineering expertise within the continent. Improving and sustaining the design of farm machinery the locations and planning of farm structure, drainage, water supply irrigations, as well as rural electrifications and processings of farm product. All key components of agricultural engineering will set the continent on the path of food security and long-term prosperity in our view. But more than boosting productivity and reducing the risk of post-harvest losses to set the continent on the path of meeting the most important, one of the most important UN SDG, Sustainable Development Goal, Zero Hunger, and delivering the Africa we want, we believe that investing in agricultural engineering provide also the opportunity for Africa to value and optimize its surplus of arable land. It's also an opportunity for Africa to sustainably improve its balance of payments and for all these reasons, the Pan-African Society of Agricultural Engineering Report titled Agricultural Engineering in Africa, a key driver for transforming African agriculture and drive food security and support economic prosperity is not only germane, but also very timely in our view. Agricultural products which have dominated cross-border trade are set to increase even more during the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreements. But mainstreaming agricultural engineering in farming practices will also, in our view, improve balance of payments of the continent. Drawing on agricultural engineering to raise agricultural productivities and output is not just the right thing to do. The right part to boosting cross-border trade, which is the arrowhead of the bank strategy, it's also the part to reducing leakages in balance of payments to sustain the growth of foreign reserve within the African continent. So you can see you're going to play a major role as an entity to making sure that Africa is no longer a continent which is exposed to recurrent debt crisis. Hence, under the leadership of President Rama, the bank has been supporting the expansions of agricultural output and productivities under its industrialization as export development pillar, investing in expanding processing capacities 
and acquisitions of agricultural equipment and machinery. The economies of scale associated with the AFCFTA provide the rationale for investing in local productions, agricultural equipment, to promote the rise of appropriate technology within the continent, while at the same time sustaining the regions on the path of long-term prosperity through extension of employment opportunities, improving external positions, and reducing leakages in balance of payments. Mind you, the Land Grant Act of 1862 laid the foundations for the rise of agricultural engineering in the US. And the country has been a net exporter of food since then. What the, the African Society of Agricultural Engineers have started will actually indeed change the course of history and development and food security within the continent, but also globally. And the African export in Portland welcome these important developments and look forward to working with you to implement some of the key recommendations emerging from your important internal report. In the meantime, and to close, I would like once again to thank you on behalf of President Orama for a very successful launch and to make sure that the report coming out are filtered into policy making to further enhance the relevance of your really great institutions and organizations. Thank you.